at no point did I expect the Proud Rebel to be so emotional. Just finished watching it, watching it, still kind of choked up. And I'm not going to spoil anything at all. I will not ruin anything. But I might talk a little bit about my emotions that I felt towards the end of the film. Um, but I will, I will leave that to later on so I don't spoil anything at all. This film was released in 1958. I watched it because Olivia de Havilland is in it. Um, it's all, It's got a really you know, powerful cast. Alan Ladd is John Chandler. David Ladd is his son, David Chandler. I assume they're related in real life. And it's directed by the fabulous Michael Curtis. And the description from IMDb is as follows. A Confederate veteran living in the Yankee North struggles with his son's shock-induced mutinous and the hate of the Northerners. So to make a really complicated story actually quite simple, John Chandler takes his son, David, who is now mute because of something he witnessed. Um, he's been kind of shocked into this muteness to see a doctor while there. He gets himself into a scuffle and through one way or another, he ends up living with Lynette Moore, played by de Havilland. And he's there to kind of pay back a debt and he works on the farm while trying to get his son to talk and it's partly about his son partly about his issue with the northerners as it said and also a little bit about his character development alongside Lynette's and I will say don't expect what you expect when I looked at this I thought well it's obvious that this will happen and this will happen particularly with the character of Lynette and then this will happen with the character of David and I actually found that very few of my predictions came true. It's a very surprising narrative. Nothing that I expected happened happened in the best way possible. It kept me on my toes, kept me engaged from start to finish. Now, I love Western films, so I knew I was going to like the setting. But it, it really is absolutely beautiful to watch. The set designs are so gorgeous there was one really bad really awful camera angle actually which um i don't know if i can really say what it is without spoiling anything but it involves a barn and young david is looking out at lynette and john but then when the so when when we're looking at david we can see him looking at the barn but then when we look at the barn we're looking at it from the exact opposite side to where david's standing so it's kind of like the looking through the back of the set and it was really really awful but that is the only bad thing that I could find about this film the soundtrack is amazing the costumes are exquisite specifically Lynette it is more emotional than I would have liked I did well up at multiple points and there is a dog in this I have to say this there's a dog in it a beautiful dog called Lance played by a dog called King and well, I just get really upset with any animal film, uh, and this is absolutely no different. So the ending, I won't spoil what happens, but I have never been, say, 10, 15 minutes from the end of a film, not knowing how it's going to conclude, not knowing what emotions I feel, and not knowing what I wanted from it either. I was fearful, uh, my heart was racing, I was anxious, I was proud of some of the character actions, uh, I was upset. It was so intense. And if you start watching this film, it's on Amazon Prime. If you start watching it and you think, eh, it's not that great, which I hope you don't think that because I really, truly adore it. But even if you think that, try and stick to the end because it's one of the most powerful, impactful endings of a film I have ever seen. And I'm not going to say whether that's because it's a good ending or a, I guess, shocking ending. I'm not going to say which way it goes, but I will say just everything about this film is unpredictable. It is powerful. It is amazing. Rated Universal, which really surprised me. I thought it would have been definitely like, well, at least a PG. But it's it's an incredible film. Definitely one of my favourite westerns ever. This could be a contender for one of my favourite films ever. Not the top 10, but maybe top 50. I don't know, but it's it's amazing. This is my introduction to Olivia de Havilland and I love her. Love her in this. Can't wait to explore what else she's done. The Proud Rebel. 1958 film. Absolutely exquisite. <laughs>